In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the browsable database to search a corpus for a particular variable from the ID tier of a transcript. Another video shows how to use the browsable database to watch movies and follow along in the transcript. Now remember, you can go to the browsable database directly from the TalkBank website and then navigate to whichever database you're interested in, or you can get to it from the various clinical bank websites. I'll click on aphasia bank as an example and to point out one more useful tip. In the database section links you'll find information about what's contained in each corpus. That's also where you'll find links to download transcripts and media from the corpora if you want to do more work on those files. So for example if I click on group treatment we see information about the various corpora that have been contributed with descriptions about what each one includes. If we click on the link in the corpus column, let's go to Duquesne for example, we see photos and contact information for the contributors and a link to download media. Now in this case, these group sessions have not been transcribed, but if they were, there would also be a link here to download the transcripts. And then there's an explanation of what's in the videos, and sometimes there are other links, as you see here at the bottom, for demographic information on the participants. Okay, back to the main Aphasia Bank webpage and I'll click on the browsable database link. Now I need to enter the username and password. And here in the upper left is our directory. You see the Aphasia Bank database includes native speakers of various languages. We'll select English and then I'll click on the Aphasia folder because I want to search the people with Aphasia who've done the standard Aphasia Bank discourse protocol. And now we see a list of all the corpora in the Aphasia Bank database. So for example, if we click on ACWT, Aphasia Center of West Texas, we see that it contains 12 chat files and movies. Okay, let's go back to the whole Aphasia Bank database by clicking up here on Aphasia. Let's say I want to search the Aphasia Bank database to find all the participants with Wernicke's aphasia based on results from the Western Aphasia Battery. I'll go down to the bottom left corner here to the clan command line. In the program drop-down menu, I'll select FREC, which is short for frequency. And then the command goes in here but I'll do it in this text file so it's easier to see. So the parts of the command are plus T at ID to include the ID tier from the chat transcript where we have the WAB type information, plus T star PAR because we're interested in only the participants diagnosis, plus S quote star Wernicke star end quote to search for that WAB type, star dot chat to search all of the chat files, plus U to merge all the results together, and plus RE to run the program recursively through all the subfolders listed above in the aphasia folder. Now I'll cut and paste this command into the command window. I'll make sure that my quotation marks are straight and not curly. Okay, and then I'll hit run. Now, I'll scroll down to the bottom of this screen 
and we see a compact list of which files are from participants who have the Wernicke's aphasia diagnosis on the WAB. And we see how many there are, which is 30, down here at the bottom. Always be sure to scroll down because the first part of the output lists all the files in the system that were reviewed. Now you can also do these commands within a particular corpus. So if you wanted to see if the ACWT corpus had anyone with Wernicke's aphasia, you'd click on that corpus as we did before and enter this same command. And you just wouldn't need the plus RE, the recursive part of the command, because you would just be analyzing results from one folder, not from a folder with many subfolders. You can run many other clan commands from this command line at the Browsable database as well, so feel free to experiment with that.